Hello and welcome to Community Chats. I'm Ali Hammer and today we're interviewing Alex Kumaris, the MD from Leopard Systems. Alex, Leopard Systems work with some of Australia's largest organisations, including Toll, Australia Post, Coles and David Jones, just to name a few. So can you start by telling us a little bit about Leopard Systems and how you service these large enterprise customers? Thanks, Ali, for having me here today. Um, absolutely. So where do I begin? 1990 was when uh, Leopard was first founded. Um, you know, since that time, we've um, participated in what was then a fledgling enterprise mobility business. Um, throughout that time, you know, we've uh, delivered cutting edge solutions to many of these um, clients as the technology has evolved. Um, and you can imagine any changes have um, transpired over those 32 years. All of the companies that you mentioned uh, across postal, transport, logistics, supply chain and so on um, have all been major uh, and retail have been major consumers of this style of technology. Their needs have evolved over that time. Um, and we've serviced them and many more over that time, some of which are still customers to this day. Well, it's very impressive that you service some of Australia's largest companies. And Alex, why did you make the move to the cloud a few years back? Uh, look, that was an interesting one. So what we did was start to notice that many of our customers were lacking some of the resources and technical expertise that they needed to support some of these complicated and sophisticated solutions that we were delivering. Um, you know, further to that, they were not necessarily, they were a big part of their business, but not necessarily their main line of business as well. Um, so we saw it was an opportunity to assist our customers at that next level. Um, and take on the burden of providing them a cloud computing solution, um, highly secure, obviously, but also be able to deliver it in a way um, as a software as a service with our own internal resources that would ultimately be a little bit more consistent over a longer period of time. Um, and that's definitely benefited our customers over that time. Um, not to mention that, you know, um, the software as a service model uh, changes that high capex expenditure that cust customers tended to have previously into a con consumption-based model. Um, so they were able to factor that into their budget budget processes and so on and pr provide greater value for their business over time. And we, we we're pretty happy that we are able to do that for them. Thanks so much for sharing. And Alex, what was the experience migrating across to AWS? And can you share some of the benefits that it brought to not only your business, but your clients as well? Um, absolutely. Like the initial cloud migration was a, a great experience for us. Um, and what we knew at the time was we didn't want to stop there. So um, as traditional innovators in our industry, we wanted to um, reset our thinking um, and look at what the next steps were to take it to that next level, not just for us, but also our customers, obviously. Um, in 2018, we literally cleared the deck and um, asked all of our personnel to participate in an evaluation process to look at what technologies were out there. And, um, you know, luckily for all of us, uh, AEWS had exactly what we were looking for. So once we pieced together the um, components that we required for our specific use case and our customers use case, um, what we ended up with was um, effectively uh, newer uh, microservice serverless computing based um, architecture that AWS were prime for um, going on that journey with us to you know that next generation. Further to that, the the relationship that was already there was further built on. Um, you know, AWS personnel and team members at the time had a good understanding of our traditional monolithic style solution. Um, and this new based architecture allowed us to um, deliver a, a, a new platform in a quarter of the time with you know, half the resources that we would have traditionally expended. Um, and that was great because what we were able to do was um, output our new system even more efficiently. Um, over and above the new architecture, um, security was something that we had in, in our minds from day one. Um, you know, traditionally it was added to the solutions. Now, what we started with was applying a security model um, as, as a baseline for any new implementation or any new um, design that we had moving forward. Um, AWS truly had the solution that we were able to um, um, implement. 
Um, and we've taken that and applied it to everything that we do uh, moving forward as well. Well, I'm so glad that you've been able to cut costs and improve security and run your business more efficiently. And Alex, to round up this interview, what is your vision for Leopard Systems? Are there any specific technologies that you think will enhance your offering and create new revenue streams for your business? Uh, ab- absolutely. Um, you know, our, our current um, development path is uh, seeing us out to a point where we replace everything that we've traditionally done with our legacy architecture, with the new architecture that you know, AWS was instrumental in um, developing along with us. Um, you know, it's it's going to provide, um, you know, an unsurpassed level of redundancy, scalability, security, and um, deployment options for us. Um, in amongst all of that, what we're also um, looking to insert is uh, technology that AWS has already um, proven. And um, by that, what I mean is um, things like big data, um, uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, um, and and tying that to what our traditional solutions have delivered um, to add a huge amount of value to our customer base. Um, and you need to understand that our systems uh, cater for a, a portion of what our customers do. And we traditionally, they might have been tied to a, um, again, a monolithic uh, backend solution. Um, ours look to, you know, push the envelope and provide um, modern uh, tools that they can um, benefit from in the immediate term rather than having to wait five or 10 years to be able to implement that type of technology. Well, I love that you're always looking for new ways to provide value to your clients and you are always one step ahead. So Alex, thank you so much for coming on the show. If anyone has any questions, please pop them in the comment section below and we'll get back to you. Thank you so much, Alex. Thanks for having me. Thank you.